Hello, 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 and welcome to the latest episode of All the Right Bites. Same, same, but vegan, where we take classic recipes and we veganize them. This week is my birthday week, and so I thought today we would celebrate my birthday by making my favorite funfetti or sprinkle cupcakes, but vegan. So stick around and let's get cooking. Hey guys, it's time to make our funfetti cupcakes, and the first thing we need to do is make our vegan buttermilk. So as always, I'm using soy milk, because that is my favorite. And so I just need about a cup of soy milk. There we go. And then a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. That's all I use for mine. So I'm going to do a teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar. And then I just give it a little stir. And all I'm going to do is let that sit for about five minutes. So. Go make your vegan buttermilk, let it sit for about five minutes, and while you're doing that, you can prepare the dry ingredients, which is step number two. Hey guys, welcome back to the next step, which is to prepare our dry ingredients. And so I am going to start with that. So you can see I have my lovely stand mixer. That is my favorite thing to make cupcakes in. It just makes life so much easier. So first thing, pastry cake and pastry flour. Do so. We need one cup, and I need a half cup. And then we need a quarter cup. So if it's about one and three quarters flour. Um, next, sugar. Now this is a lovely sweet cake. So I've got my organic sugar here, and we need one cup of sugar. So it is. A lot of sugar, so one cup of sugar. And then of course, we need salt, baking soda, and baking powder. Um, this recipe is very easy because it's equal parts of them all. So it's got a half teaspoon. So half teaspoon salt. A half teaspoon of baking soda. And a half teaspoon of baking powder. So that's all of the dry ingredients, and I'm just going to give this a little mix so that they all mix together. Perfect. So now all we have to do is two things. We have to wait for the buttermilk to be ready, which needs about three more minutes. Um, and we also need to melt some coconut oil. So the next step does have melted coconut oil. So you want to melt about a third of a cup of coconut oil while you're waiting for your buttermilk. So go melt your coconut oil. And we'll come back and we'll put it all together. Hey guys, welcome back to the next step, which is the fun step. It's making the actual batter and it's combining the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. So we have our dry ingredients in here. We're going to turn this on slow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the milk first. The coconut oil next. I'm going to let that mix up and finally we're going to add the vanilla because you do obviously need vanilla and so we need a teaspoon of vanilla. So that is that. You're going to mix that up, let it combine, have a delicious thicker cake batter and then comes the fun part. So we have our cake batter, it's ready to go. Now we have to make it funfetti. And so people are always asking how much, how much sprinkles do you put in? It is a personal choice. I like to fold mine in really slowly with the machine until I think there's enough color. And I'll just put one more hit. There you go. So you don't want to mix it too much. You just want to fold it in. If you mix it too much, then you'll start to get like um, the bleeding of the color, and that's not what we want. So add in your ingredients, fold in the sprinkles, and we'll see you for the next step. Hey guys, welcome back to the next step of our fun Funfetti cupcakes. Um, one of the things that I like to use, and this is my secret for the super moist cupcakes, because everyone's asking me how I do that, is I use silicone molds for my cupcakes. I do that for a couple of reasons. One, the environment, obviously. Um, two, because they are thicker, they do tend to give you really nice moist cupcakes. And three, look how colorful they are. 
They're just absolutely so fun and go so perfectly with the idea of a fun buddy cupcake. And so they're my absolute favorite. So I highly recommend using something like this. I do like to give them just like a quick, I don't want anything to stick to them. So give this a little, a little quick, make sure you get them all. And then we have our batter. So I've got my lovely cake batter and I, I use a measuring cup for everything because I want them to always be equal. And so I basically fill the cup and then I drop the batter into the cupcake. It is a thicker batter, but that's okay. So there's one. And that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to fill each cupcake the same. That's why I use my measuring cup. I want them to all be the exact same. Um, and about three quarters full. Don't want it to be too full. Don't want it to be too, too uh, empty. Three quarters full is good. And then all we're going to do is bake them for about 20 minutes until you can stick a fork in them and it comes out clean or a toothpick, whatever you use. Uh, I will say that this batter is one of my favorites to make for just licking the spoon clean because there's nothing in there really that you can eat raw. A lot of people, do, like, I remember as a kid I used to lick, eat cookie dough or I'd lick the spoon of different batters. Um, and people are like, oh, you shouldn't do that, there's raw egg. Raw egg, you don't wanna eat the raw egg. Well, guess what, there's no raw egg in these because they're vegan. And so my oven just beeped, which tells me that the oven is ready to go for these beautiful cupcakes. So I'm just going to keep filling them. Like I said, we're gonna bake them in my oven for about 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and then we'll come back and I'll show you just how I make my vegan icing for them. And we'll have some beautiful, beautiful cupcakes. And I like putting sprinkles on top of these ones too because that's just fun. It's fun funfetti. It's supposed to be delicious. And so this pink one is going to be mine. I remember that for the color. Two to go. Perfect. One last cupcake. So this batter will make about 12 cupcakes. All perfectly sized and good to go. And that's it. So all I'm gonna do is go bake those. That's all there is to it. Like I said, 20, 25 minutes, put a toothpick in, it comes up clean, they're done. Go bake your cupcakes, guys. And don't forget to lick the spoon. Because like I said, you can, there's nothing in here but it's terrible for you, like raw egg, and it's absolutely delicious. Hey guys, I just pulled out my cupcakes from the oven. They're looking fantastic, and so while they're cooling, I thought I would show you how I make my vegan buttercream. It's quite easy, first step you need, vegan butter. Um, so all I have to do is start by creaming the vegan butter. So I like to put it in little chunks in my stand mixer, turn this on low, um, and let it kind of just start to cream the butter. So that's what we're gonna start with. I'm gonna slowly add more. A little bit at a time. And we just want it to work a little bit to cream that butter. This can take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to speed it up a bit. But that's the first step. The first step is going to be to cream your butter. It's starting to work. I see it coming. There we go. So it's starting to cream. So I'm just going to let it go until the butter gets kind of nice and creamy. And then we'll come back for the next step. Okay, guys? So go throw your butter in and clean it up. Now we're on to the final step of the icing. We're just going to add a little bit of vanilla. And then I like to start this on very low. And I'm slowly going to add icing sugar until I get the texture and the consistency I want. So it tends to be about three to four cups of icing sugar. Um, and it is something that you play with. So I have my, uh, my 
my silk soy milk here. And the reason for that is I have the soy milk just because if I add too much icing sugar and the icing becomes too thick, I can always add a little bit of the soy milk. So the soy milk is more of an add needed as needed. So this is literally, I'm just gonna add icing sugar to the butter and wait and watch and it will slowly all kind of absorb. And then I'll be like, okay, cool. I need a little bit more. So I'm at about two cups of icing sugar right now. So about halfway there. So I had a little bit in there prior. So I'm just gonna keep adding the icing sugar, letting it whip up. We want it to be stiff, but not so firm that I can't put it in a piping bag. Um, so we want it to be able to hold shape we're going to need a little bit more, I can tell by looking at it. So back down to the low. There we go. So that brings us to about three cups. I think I'm going to need about three and a half. It is very dry here, so I don't need as much as if I was in Ontario when I was baking. Um, I think we'll do the last one. I always love making buttercream frostings because they just taste so good and you get to lick the bowl. That's one of my favorite parts of baking, licking the bowl. So I'm just gonna speed that up for a second. And then what I like to do is just flip it up and take a look at how thick it is. So feeling that, tasting it, it tastes good. If I, it's thick, but not too thick, I think I'm gonna put quarter cup of icing sugar in and that will be enough just not a full half cup but a little bit more we'll get it perfect so that's all there is to it icing sugar butter and vanilla like i said if you add too much icing sugar or if it's not the consistency you want you can add a bit of soy milk to thin it but for the most part this is looking fantastic i gotta wait about 20 more minutes for my cupcakes to cool and then i will show you exactly how i ice them Hey guys, welcome to the last step of my rainbow birthday cupcakes, and that is to frost them. So I've created my lovely frosting, um, and I'm just gonna put it in my piping bag and start frosting some delicious cupcakes. So this is the fun part, albeit a little messy. I have uh, not quite yet mastered the art that is piping. Um, I always say I'm a chef, not a baker. But I like trying, and so it does work eventually. So I'm just going to, I put a little bit of sprinkles in my frosting just because I like the looks of it. I've got my frosting here, and I'm just going to pipe the beautiful icing on each of these cupcakes. And that's literally the last step that works so beautifully. They've got rainbow sprinkles in them. What more could I want? Literally nothing more. These are going to be the best birthday cupcakes ever. Uh, there we go. And I'm just going to add a little bit more to this one. Well, that's all there is to it. Look how gorgeous these look. Rainbow sprinkle cupcakes. So thank you so much for cooking with me, spending a little bit of my birthday. It means the world. I am huge on birthdays. I've got about eight more cupcakes to pipe. I'm gonna go do that um, and I hope you had fun and I hope you'll cook with me in the future and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's anything you would like to see me veganize just put it in the comments down below thanks so much guys and thanks for spending my birthday with me bye